Hi, I'm Olu, and welcome to today's episode of Darmola Does. Today I'll be walking you through my machine learning project, Ithaca's housing market forecasted by machine learning algorithms. Let's get started. So the purpose of today's demonstration is to illustrate through AI future predictive housing prices for Ithaca, New York. First thing we'll do as always is just to kind of install the packages that are necessary and then we'll take a look at our data set. I'll apply some machine learning models and then I'll take a look at a couple data points. So for instance, short term uh, over the next month and then near future long term over the next three months. And then we can even look further out into 2025. So as you can see, I've already imported the packages, everything looks great, and we can proceed to the next step. What I'm going to do now is install and make sure that the data set loads appropriately. The data set that I'll be computing my algorithms on will be from July 1st, 2022, all the way through July 1st, 2024, and the corresponding prices. So the two features that I'm going to be taking a look at today are going to be prices and date, um, as you can see here. So date and price. So let's go ahead on this. Take a look at our data set over the last 20 months, uh, 20 plus months, actually 24 months, it looks like. So the first data point starts July 1st, 2022, and it appears that the price point on that day was $371,440. And our last data point that we have in this data set for New York is July 1st, 2024, with a price of $408,108. So as we can see, we have 25 months worth of real estate data. We're gonna go ahead and just ingest this, ensure that it looks clean and proceed with applying some AI algorithms on it. So after taking a look at the data set, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is just to plot this information and see if I can arrive at some initial trends. So assessing the last 24 months plus of real estate data for single family homes in Ithaca, New York, we can see that our first data point increases and then we see a real apparent decrease over the next five or so months. So for instance, starting in August, it decreases. And then in September and October, we also see a decrease. This is also followed all the way through at the conclusion of the year. And then around February of 2023, I would say we're starting to see an increase in trend of the prices. So for instance, April 2023, it's over $373,000. And then as we proceed throughout the year, it keeps steadily increasing. Wow, this is incredible. It's just increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing. Um, so as we can see over the last 24 months, just visually looking at housing prices there seems to be a pattern of increase after this initial decrease here in which housing prices in Ithaca New York for a single family over the last 24 months have just increased so now what I'm gonna do is just compute some statistics over the last 25 months what I'm interested in is the average price the highest price and the lowest price this helps from a consumer alert perspective because it informs us of what the housing market trends are going to be and what they should be based off historical data. 
that helps us be more informed so that we're taking the best position when it comes to negotiating as a buyer or seller. So the average price over the last 25 months, looking at this data set up here, is $384,388.32 for the average single family home in Ithaca, New York. The highest price over the last 25 months, which I believe is the most recent month, July 2024, is four hundred and eight thousand dollars one hundred one hundred and eight dollars and then the lowest price was three hundred and sixty four thousand two hundred and sixty four dollars so I've summarized the statistics over the last 25 months for Ithaca New York now I'm actually going to apply my machine learning algorithms, specifically linear regression, to predict future prices. So we see that our R squared is 89.2 and our adjusted R squared is Taking a look at our P values, we see that our P value is close to zero for our constant in addition to the month. And there's a lot of information we can glean as a result of this. We'll start with the R squared. So for the R squared, this indicates to us how well the independent variable date explains the variation in the dependent variable price. This R squared of 89.2 means the model is exceptional as 89% of the variation in prices is explained by the date. Now if we move on to the adjusted R squared of 88.7, what this suggests to us that given we only have one predictor, for this use case and study the date. This model fits the data exceptionally well without being overly complex. Now we'll proceed with actually making some recommendations and predictions as far as future single family home prices in Ithaca, New York. So what I wanna take a look at will be three separate use cases. What would be the predicted price over the next three months? So for example, looking forward to November 1st, 2024, So the equation derived is 362911.85 plus 58.70 times the days. We can see the slope here, our intercept, and our predicted price for November 1st, 2024 will be $413,040.04. ,040 
Now, we can continue making predictions based off the historical data set that we've applied our algorithms to. So, for instance, what would this look like if we were predicting for, let's say, December 1st? or even further out in March of 2025. So this was our first prediction that I alluded to for November 1st, 2024. What you can see that I plotted are the actual prices, which are in blue from the data set, and then the linear regression line associated with this model and then the predicted price based off the algorithms that I've applied. Now I'm going to do this similar for December 1st, 2024, predicting the price. So again, I've plotted the actual prices in blue, as you can see, correlating to the date. We have our prediction line as far as the linear regression. And then we'll also have our predictive value, which for December 1st, 2024 is $414,800. So the actual prices, the linear regression line, and then we also have our predicted value here. The last prediction that I want to see is far in the future, so March 1st, 2025. Just want to better understand from a prediction what the housing single family price could be. Again, we will have additional months as time goes on. As of now, though, we don't have any current data for that. And we could just apply futuristic predictive models to determine, based off machine learning, what those prices could be. So for March 1st, 2025, the machine learning algorithm is predicting a future price of $420,083. So looking at our historical data points starting back in July of 2022, where home prices were 370000 to currently now where home prices sit just below $410,000. What we're predicting based off our model is in March of 1st, 2025, future home prices will be $420,000.83. So here's a summary of our predicted prices so for instance, November 1st, 2024, we're predicting a future price for single family homes in Ithaca, New York to be $413,040.04. A month later, we're predicting those prices to increase slightly to $414,800.98. And then future in March 1st, 2025, our linear regression and machine learning algorithms are predicting 
it to be four hundred and twenty thousand and eighty three dollars and eighty one cents so as you can see I've demonstrated in just four five months cost saving opportunity of seven thousand dollars if you were to purchase for instance in November 1st 2024 as opposed to March 1st 2025 and then lastly we'll just you know do additional performance testing in addition to our R squared that I illustrated earlier um, we'll go ahead and do some random tree and random forester performance testing on our model on my model so as we can see the plot above shows the actual prices in blue and then the random forest predictions in green. The decision tree performed better because the mean square errors is lower at 843.86 compared to our random forest which was 2133.1 My wifey lover face face That concludes the Ithaca single family real estate AI project If you have any questions as always don't hesitate to reach out I hope you've enjoyed and learned as much insights that I've provided and demonstrated. Next week, we'll be taking a look and walking through additional areas and predicting more real estate prices to determine if there is a cost opportunity investment chance for, for us as it relates to applying machine learning and AI algorithms. My name is Olu and I look forward to seeing you and talk to you soon. Take care.